Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake with TylerBlakeArt.com and this is Let's Draw Presidential Candidates as Zombies, episode number 8. Um, my other title for this project is Presidential Candidates of Questionable Vitality. Just, I don't know, I just kind of like coming up with over complicated names, I guess. Titles are hard. So, um, this is Beto O'Rourke, better known to the authorities at the University of El Paso and the Anthony Police Department as Robert Francis O'Rourke for burglary and DWI. Um, <clears throat> charges dropped in both cases because his dad was a judge. So, uh, anyways... In the uh, reference photo for this one, he was holding up his hand to his ear like, huh? You know, just being kind of a smart aleck. And I, I kind of wanted to do something with that, but if you've been watching these, there was a couple others, like Cory Booker looked like he was talk he was arguing with a, an imaginary hand puppet. And it, it's tempting to kind of capitalize on that, but I feel like it would put some of them off balance with the rest of the collection, and I wanted them to all you know, be very, um, consistent. And since I wasn't going to have everybody doing something with their hands, I decided to be disciplined about it and just stick with, you know, upper chest at, up to the head. So, um, the, uh, I, I also, th I thought about, like, removing, like, all of his lips so you could see his teeth. And the, the joke was that here's, here's Beto showing his teeth, but, hey, We've all seen that before because he evidently, and I, I you know, I didn't watch this or anything because I don't know why anyone would, but evidently he did a live stream of himself at a dental hygienist's office getting his teeth cleaned. Um, yeah, weird, I, you know, narcissism and all, but that, that's just, I'm like, why, why would anybody do that and why would anybody watch it? So, but I, I figured I, you know, I've, I've got enough of his mouth kind of mangled that it comes through. So, um, and he's yet another one who dropped out some considerable time ago. Uh, the, uh, I think the, the rumor mill was kind of that he was, he endorsed Biden in exchange for a cabinet position offer something like that. And that, you know, that kind of thing is fairly common in primary races, especially hotly contested races when somebody realizes that they're not going to get it, but maybe they can use their, what following they do have as leverage to, you know, to wring something out of the deal. <clears throat> so, um, this one is getting reasonably close, and... He's got, uh, let's see, actually we have, we have a fair bit of Beto left to go, wow. So, um, let's see, what else? I, I don't believe he is holding an elected office right now, um, he failed in his most recent bid for the Texas, or no, he was, he was running for the, the federal Senate, and he lost that, and I don't, I don't think he was holding an elected office at the time, you know, like, sometimes people will hold an office and run for another office, and instead of saying, I'm going to devote my full attention to one or the other, they'll keep the office that they're already being paid to not do the job in, as a backup in case they don't win. So I, I really don't know if he uh, did that or not, but also not uncommon in either federal or local or state politics. Um, let's see. So he, he's uh, getting reasonably close to getting done. And, uh, oh, I have a question for y'all. So the way I have these set up right now is I'll show the finished shot along with uh, some process shots and the reference photo at the end of the video, but after him, on, on the same video, I also have Bill de Blasio, who is uh, mayor of somewhere, and 
Um, I'm, I kind of wonder if it wouldn't be better if I didn't show the uh, the shots of Beto after Beto and then do the other guy at the end, and, you know, on all of these moving forward since I do two at a time. So if anybody has thoughts on that, I would appreciate uh, hearing your opinions. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see, what else is he famous for? Um, he's dropping F-bombs at rallies, but, you know, I think most of us, if we didn't go through the phase ourselves, we certainly knew people who in junior high who thought they were cool for doing that, so, yeah. And, okay, so now we are... Approaching the end of Beto and moving into Bill de Blasio. Um, as you can see, I, I did something slight. I, I still think that this ties in with the other presidential candidates of questionable vitality, but I did do something different with him, which was just to remove his lower jaw. Um, I just thought the, the reference photo, which you'll see at the very end, he's, he's kind of laughing and he it's just one of those photos, kind of like when I did Eric Swalwell, the reference photo I used was just like, it just screams, this guy's a perennial big mouth. And the photo of Bill de Blasio struck me the same way. Um, by the way, uh, when I was in this segment, when I'm painting, I'm sitting outside on a sunny day in the desert in Utah, so I, I didn't really realize how much glare there was going to be. I apologize for that. Um, so... And, and uh, I thought, you know, uh, Bill de Blasio is like six foot four or six foot five or something. He's really tall. And, uh, you know, tall guys wear great big shoes. He probably wears like size 13 or something. So I thought, you know, with his mouth like this, he'll finally be able to stick his foot in there. Um, he's famous for uh, having kind of, as mayor of New York City, that's the somewhere, um, he had some really anti-police rhetoric and some police officers ended up getting murdered and then he had the gall to attend a funeral for police officers and all of the police officers in attendance turned their back on him as you know it's uh you know not a not a vote of confidence there bill so <clears throat> anyway um i when i first started doing zombie presidential candidates back in 2008. I did something similar with, uh, let's see, he was John Kerry's running mate, and it was, um, I guess it was John Edwards, I believe. And, oops, yeah, uh, right there, my, uh, my phone fell off the mount, and you got a shot up my nose, so congratulations, I guess. Uh, anyway, I did the same, I did kind of a similar, it was a different angle and everything, but I, I did the lower jaw missing with the tongue hanging out on John Edwards too, so those are kind of fun. So I don't have nearly as much video of him, so I'm coming up on the end here, and here is the finished Beto with the ink and the inked sketch and the reference photo. And then here's finished Bill de Blasio with inks and the inked sketch and very small photo. So, so Miss Tyler Blake and I approve this message.